Hi folks, just a quick video here showing how to access the lens on the autofocus laser machines. I've got a Ohmtech AF2028 that I just got a few days ago, but I was really having trouble accessing the lens that's in this tube here. And I wanted to check to make sure that the concave, which is the curved side, was up because I was having trouble with some of my focus issues. And then um, also for cleaning, which I'm going to be doing on quite a regular basis since I use my machine um, daily, several hours a day. So I just wanted to show, because I could not find any YouTube videos, how to do this on the autofocus with this pen and holder, which are in the way. Um, I actually had to stop using my autofocus until I figure out how to do the offset for it. I've only got a 7.5 millimeter uh, focus range on my machine and it would constantly, the pin here, would constantly hit my little um, hold downs here that I use for material. And this is only, what is it, about 3.5 millimeters thick. And it would hit it every single time and drag my bed out of place, move my material, etc. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm sorry, at some point I will reinstall this, get the pen back down where it's at. But for right now, I've just got it up out of the way because it was such a hassle. So first thing I'm going to do here is let me get this over here. And hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, I don't normally do videos and I do not have a proper setup for it. So we're going to try this. Okay. Um, so first thing you're going to do is loosen these two um, little bolts um, here with your hex head wrench. This one here is in the set of keys that you get from Ohm Tech. This would be the next to the smallest size and I just pulled it right off of the um, spring that was holding it in place. So you're going to twist these toward the front of the machine or to the left of the machine depending on where it's placed. And I just got it where it's loosened enough that I'll be able to move it um, like that. And then I'm going to depress this blue button here. And I'll get you a little closer so you can see that blue button. That blue button right there. Come on, let's focus. Um, you're going to depress it down. Let's see if I can do it from the back side. And then pull out your tube. I cannot do that uh, with one hand. So I'm going to put you back in place here. So pull it down, and then just pull the tube up. Down, and the tube up. And you're also going to reinsert it that same place. Okay, or that same way. Then I'm going to twist this top red collar. And we had some real problems with getting stuff loose. Um, we ended up having to put the microfiber around this, and then getting a wrench to twist uh, several different parts on here because they were just attached way too tightly. So, so I'm going to hold this to make sure it doesn't fall. Um, guess who has experience with that? And then I'm just going to twist it until the tube here comes out. Once that comes out, then I'm going to slide off this holder here and put it down to the side. And then the tube here, what I'm going to do is you're needing to access this blue tube right here. So again, we had trouble with accessing it, so you can even see the mark that's on it um, when we had to use the wrench. But I'm also, for cleaning purposes, I would twist this red collar here so I could get down in there and clean everything, which of course, it's going to, I got it back on too tight. Okay, first I'm going to loosen this tube here, and this tube here, be very careful, because there is your lens. But then, when you're cleaning, you're going to want to take this off, which of course now I've tightened back on again too tightly. I just don't have enough grip to get it off. Anyway, this loosens. Um, if you don't tighten up too tightly, <laughs> you can get it off. And then you, you want to clean inside here so that you can get all the soot that's built up and any debris that's in there. So, because um, that can affect how well your laser works. So, in this tube here, you might be able to see the two little dimples. They're right now, top and bottom. That is what you've got to get off. That's the O-ring. You've got to get that off in order to get to the lens. You can actually see the lens on the inside. And what you need 
a pair of thin nosed needle nose pliers. They make some other tools for this. I don't have these. I went and got this pair of needle nose pliers from Lowe's for $4.67. And you just got to be really careful that you do not touch the lens with your needle nose pliers because you can scratch it. So I keep my finger kind of in between so I can keep it open wide enough and hopefully keep it off of the lens. But you're just going to put it in there, put the tips of your needle nose pliers into those o-ring um, dimples and then twist the red tube here until you can get it off. Now some people have thick enough fingers that once they get it started they can use their finger to get this off. I um, fortunately unfortunately do not have fingers that can grasp this metal o-ring and twist it off in that way. So I have to take it all the way to the end. I hope I'm keeping this in the frame. All the way off. And then you've got to be very careful. So I'm going to start tilting this down a little bit because I do not want my lens to fall out and potentially be damaged. So I'm going to keep twisting this. to the end. It's the biggest pain and I'm doing it at an awkward angle so it's taking a little longer than it normally does. I'm also trying to keep it in the frame so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay so you saw that fall out. There's your lens inside and I am now going to put on a pair of gloves because I don't want to handle the lens without a pair of gloves on. You can get the oils from your hands on it. And I am um, going to put on a pair of, I think these are latex gloves, nitrile gloves. You know, just something that is clean so that you don't get um, the stuff on your lens. So pull the lens out. This is the lens. This is the convex side, so that means that it's rounded up. This is the side that when this tube, which sits like this, your um, lens goes in it like this so that that convex side is looking up into the tube. The flat side is looking down. Okay, I clean this with Zeiss wipes and just clean it really well all around, um, again, while wearing gloves. And then once you've cleaned it, you're going to take the tube and I'm going to twist this, put it so the convex side is facing up, and drop it into the tube there. And then you start putting the O-ring back on. And at this point I'm going to take the glove off because I cannot hold this with the gloves on. So I've got that on. I want to make sure it's sitting flat so that I don't cross thread as I am reinstalling this which of course it wants to move, and I'm going to twist this all the way back on again, all the way down that tube. This is not difficult, but just, um, yeah, you don't want to get your needle nose pliers onto that lens, you don't want to scratch it. This is the way I do it. Uh, may not be 100% accurate, but um, it's what worked for me and it was the only way I could figure out. There's actually surprisingly no videos that I could find on YouTube showing you how to get to the lens on this autofocus machines. Okay, and you're going to twist it just until it touches the bottom. You don't want to over twist this. Then I am going to take this tube, I'm going to stick this up here and then and actually probably easier with the blue part that I've reattached here to the red collar twist the tube back on there stick it back up through the autofocus head stick this up here and this length 
I don't believe makes a difference how far up and down because you're always going to be setting your focus from the material to the nozzle. So whether the nozzle is up here just means it brings the bed up higher or if it's down here. Now I don't know exactly how high this bed can go um, as far as if I put it all the way up here it may not give me enough room. So I just leave you know about a thumbs width of room here and then I'm going to tighten this back on and I'm turning it um, basically counterclockwise to tighten it. I'm going to move this around. This is the holder again. Around. And because I'm keeping my autofocus pin up out of the way, it's tightened and raised up over here. Um, I'm not too concerned about its exact placement. Down here, I'm going to tighten these back up. Actually, I'll probably do these enough by hand. And then I want the air assist to be back behind a little ways here. So I put it back there. I'm going to take the hose. And here's something I don't like. I don't like my um, lines in front of my laser tube. So I'm going to loosen this up again. Be careful not to drop your laser tube. And just set it behind. Stick it back in there and then tighten it back up counterclockwise. And I'm going to go up a little higher. There we go. Tighten it down. Push down on this blue button. Stick your air hose in there. There you go. And then just make sure that your autofocus here is tightened up. Now, if you um, have autofocus you're gonna, and you're using your pen, you're going to have to reset your height for your pen to make sure it's at the correct height. Um, on mine, I had, when I had it, when I was trying it, I did have the pen set, so I never moved the pen. Made it a little harder to access this area here. But by moving this holder up and down, I was able to tighten this lower section. So, um, but then you just want to make sure that you've got this placed back in the exact same spot so that your autofocus is the correct height. And you'll notice on mine, I had little marks where my autofocus, um, these little locks, whatever they're called, um, were, had marked onto my tube. And so I knew about where to place those again. So, so that's all. That's um, how you access the lens in order to clean it. Hope this was help helpful.